to myself and my content, that's really how I start getting my creativity flowing with Reels. Karim, what makes it so easy to get started on Facebook Reels? There's a lot of tools you can use that help you create a Reel immediately. And on top of that, it's just very simple. You know, you could just use your phone, record something, and upload it, and there, you have a Reel. You know, um, it's some, you don't require a lot of the editing that I would do for my videos. Um, I use, you know, uh, an actual uh, digital camera that I would record and then just put onto an editing program and an edit for reels. You don't have to do all that. You know, you can simply just do it from your phone. So I'm able to now just release content like crazy. I love that. Charmaine, what about you? What makes Facebook Reels super easy for you? I think Kareem hit the nail on the head there. It's just all you need is your phone and it's just so easy. I think before the introduction of Facebook Reels, there was a little bit of um, pressure and anxiety associated with putting together the perfect piece of content, putting together the perfect image. And with Reels, it's a lot more relaxed. I think, um, you know, with the trending audio, with trends, um, with text, you can really make it what you want it to be. And and there's no stress associated with it. It's a lot of fun. Um, there are so many different ways that you can approach a reel. And um, all you need is your phone. So I think, you know, that's really the beauty of reels is that it's low stress and the possibilities truly are endless. So both of you talked about how Facebook Reels is a place where you can express yourself authentically. We'd we'll love to know a little bit more about what specific features and tools have helped you to share your story. Kareem, maybe we can start with you. Yeah, for me, uh, definitely hashtags. It's in like 99% of my videos. I wasn't really a big fan of hashtags in the beginning, but I, using them in Facebook Reels, I really saw you know, a change in the, in, in the amount of engagement and how much of a reach I was able to get. When I use hashtags that are trending like NYC or New York City, a lot of people from that area will see those reels. Um, and it's just incredible how it's able to work in that sense. Charmaine, what about you? For me, my favorite tool to help my authenticity shine through really is voiceover. So for the longest time, I think my audience, they were just seeing photos of me and like all these fabulous outfits. But once I started using the voiceover tool on Reels, I noticed my audience were a little bit more engaged. And so, you know, I have a bubbly personality. Um, I get really excited about things and that's able to shine through when I'm using the voiceover tool. And I was shocked at how many people were excited to hear my voice and they would say things like, oh my God, I love your voice. Oh my gosh, this is like, it's so great to hear from you. And so voiceover tool has really helped me to bring um, more authenticity and more of myself to my audience, which has been really unique and um, exciting to be a part of. I love that. So Kareem, what is an underrated or under the radar tool, you would say, that people might not know about? Oh, that's a good question. One of my favorites uh, is one that I found out about called uh, Clips to Reels. So I'm able to take my long form content that I already uploaded on Facebook and just choose any segment of that video and automatically create a reel that is ready for upload immediately. And that's, uh, I think, something that people should really try. I love that. And we're always listening to feedback. So keep it coming. Um, if there's a feature that you want, let us know and we will uh, continue to build and improve. Um, same question to you, Charmaine. What is a tool that you found, found super helpful that uh, you want to share with other creators? For me, one of the tools that I find really helpful are the insights tool. And I think it's a bit underrated. Uh, not everyone is into analytics, My, me, myself. Um, sometimes it can feel overwhelming, but it is really interesting to be able to see which reels are performing well and which reels are not performing well. For me, it helps me to pivot and to tailor my content strategy to the content that is resonating with my audience. So insights is one of my favorite tools on Facebook Reels. For Facebook Reels, we recommend that creators pull viewers in within the first few seconds to capture the attention before they scroll away. So Charmaine, maybe I can come back to you. 
What is your strategy to make sure that you hook your audience within those first few seconds? I try to hook my audience within the first few seconds by giving them a sneak peek of what I'll be talking about or what I'll be showing them. Um, and this is really easy to do with fashion content because, for example, you can show yourself looking a little disheveled and then in the next second you can just look super glamorous. And so it's something that you can have a lot of fun with in those first three seconds. Um I like to also incorporate music. So I'll do something that is like specific to the beat or I can start with like a controversial um, piece of text um, underneath me or, you know, somewhere in the frame um, to hook people. So that's really how I try to get my audience engaged in those first three seconds. I love that creativity. Kareem, what about you? For myself, uh, there's like a couple of things I would do. Um, first, if the person looks interesting or they have an aura about them, I'll have them be the, the start of the video, giving their name and the location. Um, if there is a uh, since I do a lot of interviews, the question itself will be the first thing that the person sees or hears. So that would be kind of like the draw in. And sometimes the questions are very deep. So that would be enough for the viewer to kind of get hooked and see how the person I'm interviewing responds to the question. I think some creators out there will love to hear some advice and inspiration that you may have to share. What are your top two to three reels tips for aspiring creators that are just getting started and building their fan base? Well, my first tip would be try to stay authentic to yourself. The best thing that I can say about reels is that you're bringing yourself to the audience. And so you want to really show them who you are. And then another tip that I have is don't take it too seriously and don't put too much pressure on yourself. Have fun. Use trending audios. Join into the conversation um, and try new things. Use your insights tools, right? When you start posting, take a look at what's performing well and what's not performing well and try to trend in the areas where you're performing well. So double down on the areas where you're seeing high engagement and high reach. I think those are great tools to help you get started as a creator on Facebook Reels. The very first tip for Reels for myself is just get started. Uh, it can be very intimidating to try something new or try to create content that you're not familiar with, reels are super easy. Just get started. And once you do that first step, everything else is really easy. So that's like step one and two. Just get started, get started. And then three is finally, you know, find something that inspires you, uh, in light, like that makes you feel fulfilled or something that you are very well versed in, something that, just, that, keeps, you, that keeps you going. And then take that and create content for it. Just do something that works for you, no matter how simple it is. As long as you start, that's the very first step. Were there times when you felt defeated or struggling with creativity? And if so, what helped you through it? Yeah, as a creator, we have sometimes many moments where we're struggling and feel that we are just not going to that place that we want to be at, um, whether it's creatively or number-wise, you know? I think a really big tip that I would want everyone to really understand is it's not all about the numbers because sometimes you're not going to get the numbers you want and it's it can be demotivating and it can make you feel like you're struggling. But what you can do, since you can't control the numbers, is you can control your consistency. Just stick to it, do what it is that you want to do and make a plan and then just execute. Then you will see the numbers and then you will see the growth and you'll see everything come. So create and establish you know, a good portfolio and from there, things will start coming. How often do you post reels and do you have any advice on the number of reels to produce just to get started? Oh, this is a good one. Um, my advice on how to get started would be to post at least one reel a week. And it's, it's, it's also really good for quality wise. So you can really hone in and, and focus on that one reel and make it really special. Um, I tried it all. And for me, from my experience, I would say do once a week. And I think you'll be doing really well. 
Charmaine, how often do you post reels? I try to post reels a couple times a week, but I think, you know, for creators, you should just try to come up with a consistent cadence. So if you can show up once a week and stick to that cadence, that's great. If you can show up multiple times a week and stick to that cadence, that's also great. It's all about consistency. What are some of the other places you go to to get creative inspiration? There's a lot of places I like to go to get inspiration. Um, I just love entertainment, whether it's video games, movies, comic books, uh, or even just clicking the inspiration tab on Facebook. Sometimes I can see people creating similar content to mine or even having these great ideas, and I would like to build upon it. So from there, um, once I get inspired, it's a beautiful feeling because I know that what I'm going to create is going to do something special and it might outlive me. So that's also something that keeps me going. When I create content, I want to create content that's relevant and that would stay and test the, te you know, the test of time. Basically, it will outlive me and everyone else and hopefully people in the future see it and get something out of it. And that's what inspires me. Thank you so much, Kareem and Charmaine. Let's jump to three tutorials to help you get started with Facebook Reels. Clip to Reels, Trending Audio, Stories to Reels. When I shifted from long form video to Reels, Clip to Reels didn't exist. Oh, how I would love if that did before I started because it makes things a lot easier. And now I have that in my creation tool belt. It makes a world of a difference. It's so easy to use and you should start using it now on existing videos. So the first thing I would do is log into Meta Business Suite. And from there, I go into content. And when I click content, I see everything that I've uploaded. I upload a lot. So I want to find my long form videos. I click my post type, click videos, and wait for it to populate all my long form videos. I want to take a long form video and create it into a reel. Well, it's as simple as this. You click the three dots next to the video you want to switch into a reel. Now, it's not gonna switch the video into a reel, it's gonna create a new reel from that long form video. So you have nothing to worry about. Your video is not going anywhere. Once you click those three dots, all these options pop up. And from there, you click create reel. Now what you see here is a bunch of text, but this is actually the subtitles of your video. So if you want to find the point in your video that you would like to create into a reel, you could simply look through the subtitles. If not, you could use this blue clip here to find the position or area of the video that you would like to use as a highlight. For myself, I want to use these guys here because they were full of energy and very funny. So from there, I'll take this blue clip shorten it a little bit so it could fit the right size for a reel. I would say my sweet spot is around 20 seconds. So let's do 20 seconds and then from there I'm done. I simply have a reel. What I have to do now is just click next. And now you have yourself a reel. You get to choose the cropping and all that. It's all auto cropped so you don't have to worry about that and just wait till it finishes loading and click next. And from there, you can fill up your description. And even share it to stories if you want. But that's not what I want to do now. So I'm going to unclick that check and just keep it for reels. If you want people to remix your reel, it actually increases engagement. And that's also a really cool feature to have. I always keep it on. So if you don't want people remixing your reel, you could turn it off. But I always have it on. And from there, I click Publish to Reels, and we're done. Trending audio is a great way to open up your world of discovery when creating Reels, because you can tap into what people are already vibing to. So let me show you how to use trending audios on Facebook Reels right now. First, you want to open up the Facebook mobile app. Then you want to hit the plus sign to create a Reel. From there, you're going to want to hit the Music tab. And this will show you different categories that you can browse for music. And trending audio can be found here under trending. So let's create a reel using Take My Breath Away, a trending audio that I already have saved.
So I'm going to add a video. And now you can hear the trending audio playing over my video. So what you want to do now is hit next. So from there, you can write a fun caption. For me, I'll just say, welcome to my new apartment. And this is not really my apartment, so we'll just put JK <laughs> and hit done. And from there, you're going to want to share the reel. It's super easy to get started with stories to reels. Sometimes I like to share various moments about my day on stories. Now with stories to reels, it's easy to convert your stories to post a new reel. First, you want to open up the Facebook mobile app. Then you want to open up your recently created stories. From there, you want to tap create a new reel. Once you create a new reel, you can add audio, text, and any other effects as you desire. Tap next to add a description. And then share your new reel for people to discover you. Before we go, I mentioned a surprise earlier in the workshop. I'm excited to announce an opportunity for you to create a reel using the tools we highlighted in today's workshop. Clips to Reels, Trending Audio, and Stories to Reels. Use one or more of these tools, put your creativity to it, and tell us your story. Kareem and Charmaine walked us through their success, their favorite tools, and showed us how to get started. So feel free to express your own point of view. Use your voice, use your aesthetic, use your skills, whatever fits your vibe, and share with us by tagging your reel with the hashtag Facebook Real School for a chance to be featured on our Facebook creators page. This is your chance to be highlighted and featured using the creation tools we discussed today with your own story. We encourage you to create your reel now. This is a very exciting opportunity. And even if you're not featured, you have now learned a new way to create a reel. Yeah.